Welcome back, everybody, for some more Nagi Lajos. So, uh, this is literally Yadviga 1. We have the Yadviga icon. It's called the Matter of the Crown. We play as the Poles. Here's the comparison. See? Same thing. So, um... I'm not too sure what to expect. Uh, I had stopped thinking about how long I live, I would live, and gave my life to the Lord of Heaven very early on to decide when I could return to him. When I was born on this land, I expiated just for my lost family, my merciful king, and my Lord of Heaven. The thrones of Hungary and Poland are now handed over by King Louis to his young daughters, being taken care of by Queen Elizabeth. This is probably God's will. But now I am not the servant there anymore, but a commoner. I only pledge loyalty to my own lord. A little young girl was forced to give up her deserved childhood, parting with relatives and being crowned as a monarch in a foreign and unfamiliar nation, guarding, guarded by convoys. This might be, uh, be the political needs for holding such, such strength and rights in hand, all because of my king's will, yeah. Being like those uh, Cubans seeking assistance from Hungary, uh, in the past, for alive political needs in an unfamiliar and foreign lands, this place did not belong to them. But how? We all live without other choices, alike here I am, and live without my king, with the selection of the only inescapable choice. Whether or not to eat Pop-Tarts. Or something. Uh, well... Okay, so it's not exactly Adviga 1. Uh, my dear Hedwig, I have ordered the guards to uh, convey you to Krakow. There you'll soon learn a lot and receive everything your father left for you, and become one of the one that the people love and support most. Can I be the witness of your coronation and see that you wear this magnificent quorn like your sister Maria did when you grow up and become mature something something something. Alrighty. Yadviga must not be captured. Bring Yadviga to Vavil Cathedral. To obtain plate barding plus 15 HP for cavalry and heresy. Paladin Halb Obuk move faster. Parthian tactics. Uh, Magyar bonuses. Resources last longer. Ooh. Hmm. Thing is, I don't know which one's going to be the best. Uh, no docks. Loyal allies. Poles instead of Magyars for civilization. Yadviga is a Hungarian princess, therefore may obtain some Magyar bonuses. Fighting the Mazovian army may not be a wise decision for the convoy. Just use the guardians from Hungary wisely. Uh, under the arrangement of her mother, Elizabeth of Bosnia, Yadviga is about to leave Hungary and enter Poland. She'll be escorted to Krakow for the coronation and will soon become uh, will soon become the king of Poland. In uh, Krakow, uh, Yadviga will acquire the manpower and resources ordered to re-maintain order of the country. Uh, the throne of Krakow will not be successfully inherited by Yadviga. Some Polish dukes also covet the throne of Krakow and may challenge Yadviga's position. Uh, they pose a threat to Yadviga's coronation, Duke Siemowit of Mazovia. And, uh, yeah, some loyal nobles and whatnot. Alright, so, what do we want? Um... I'm kind of feeling... Hmm... Honestly, kind of feeling the plate barding and the extra cavalry armor. And heresy. Oh, they can be researched. All mounted units plus 15 HP. Does not include these ones, it seems. Uh, these trusted guards will also convey you to the... Until you arrive at Vavil Castle. When you grow up, you'll realize everything... Why you travel there. 
We are waiting for your command, your highness. We'll always keep you safe until you arrive at Vavil Castle. Uh, I'm afraid we cannot let you... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yeah. Oh, where's Yadviga? Oh, my God. Where are you? Little 13-year-old girl or whatever. Okay, so we're not going that way. Okay, there's Vavil Cathedral. Oh god, we have to bring her before the timer ends. Let's use our winged hussar to scout ahead. There are some units. Everybody's poles. <gasps> Holy crap. No! <clears throat> Whoops. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Yadviga. Do we want longer lasting resources? I don't know. Like, all of these are pre seem pretty good. We have to research heresy, though. Let's do 161. Paladin Halberdier uh, can be researched in the Obuk move faster. So we're still missing the last armor upgrade. But we can get Halb and we can get, you know, like good Obuks. And since we're up against Poles exclusively, except for the Hungarians, but I don't think we're actually fighting them. Go get him! There we go. Also, everybody's in the Imperial Age. All right, this time with less being blown up. Just a little bit less, not too much. Oh, is this all traversable by ship? Okay, um... Oh crap. Is this literally possible? Oh, I get it. This way is impassable. And we have to go like different routes, which are going to be easier. Ah, learning. And stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Interesting that we get like a different take on Yadviga 1, though. Yadviga is such a great campaign. Oh, whoops. I didn't choose a bow, so now we get resources that last longer. <laughs> oh, I gotta love all of these bonuses that I'm never going to apparently make use of. Alright, guys, I'm joining the party. Awesome. Okay, so we can't go this way. Probably have to go this way. He's, ah, because, you know, there's only some knights patrolling as opposed to, like, the 20 billion units that are over there. Roskazania? Like, this is probably, like, the safest way and the least guarded, but we're going to try at least this way. 
uh, didn't leave here very far. We can catch up to her uh, with the prince if we ride in a hurry. Let's try and keep you alive so you can scout ahead. Use you guys to fight. Not let them pass the Vistula. Or Lewis sneeze. Um, let's let's get this show on the road or keep this show going. Okay, uh, lesser Poland. Wow, that seems kind of mean. Ah. Oh God. Bodyguard, be loyal. Nope. 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 Are we in the clear? Are we in the clear? I think we're in the clear, guys. Oh, thankfully that wasn't close. Could have gotten a little bit, a little bit messy right there. Almost lost our cool. Anyway, polls are a booming sieve, and I'm so ready to boom. Uh, you finally come, your highness. The coronation awaits only arrival to begin. Oh my god. It's from, uh, 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 like from El said, go ahead to the cathedral. The required time of the coronation will be shorter. Jadwiga will soon enthrone as the Polish king. The pretenders can challenge your position. You must defend the city and do all that stuff. Taunt 200 to deactivate the objective of... Defend until Jadwiga's coronation ends. And at least... The castle is defending the wonder, or destroy all the castles of the Duke of Opal, force him to surrender and pledge loyalty to Yaviga, and defeat. Uh, okay, so you can either defeat the guys or defend the guys. All right. Oh boy, got a full work. Uh, my men and I will protect you, your position and stuff. Well, thanks, Janus. You're a real sport. Oh, whoa, hold, like this whole map is visible. Um, okay, we got this whole area as well. Like, so much going on? Okay, go over there. There. Uh, we are well, well prepared for your command, the defense of Krakow. To order your ally to deliver resources. Okay. Okay, so like food, wood, gold, stone, attack. Alrighty. I can live with this. Interesting that we now get to play as poles. Alrighty. Do some stone mining to get some gold income. Guys, poles are all about going to the fiesta. All right, so, okay, here are the castles of Vladislaus II. What's going on with the Krakow nobles? Even Lajos can only make compromises. How can it be a little girl's turn to try and run the country? Okay, so there's Janus. So I guess Lesser Poland. Um... Okay, now this will probably make more sense. Uh, Polish nobles, and the nobles from Lesser Poland. Okay. Okie dokie. And we now have resources last longer, because I forgot to type something. Still, can't complain too much about that. Okay. 
All right, uh, so I guess we already have Schlock to Privileges. So we're gonna go for some Obuk, we're gonna go for some Cavalier, we're gonna do the whole shebang. The whole pole thing. These guys have stables. There we go. Okay. So who are who are our enemies? Oh yeah, Siemowit. Uh, the Masovian army, I think, is already gone, and the Opal guy. Alrighty. How dare you bring a little girl to teach the Poles how to fight? Oh no. Um. Um. So cooperation funding with your father does not mean it's the correct decision for you. These fences are only in the way, goddammit. Okay, uh, we can build another castle. Oh, are we going to have a Siege of Vilnius flashback? Because our stone lasts longer. Are we going to be playing Age of Bombard Towers? Because that's what I wanted to do. Alright, get chemistry. Okay, gotta be careful. That's some weird looking fire, man. It's so hard to tell. Um... I can't tell. Okay, those are, are probably benefiting. Uh, let's get Blast Furnace. We have Schlachter Privileges, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Just want to double check. Uh, and we'll get Link Tussar. Okay, do we have any other sources of gold and stone hanging around? Because that's going to be pretty important. Okay. Oh, hey there, Yamus. I mean, it seems like, you know, the bad guys are, like, right here. I guess this is only supposed to be one sword difficulty. Of course, that does make the fact that I had to retry a couple times rather embarrassing, but, you know, you live and you learn. Or, in this case, I didn't really live. And I only arguably learned, but, yeah, you get the idea. Let's 
stop with the stable destruction. I don't know. Oh, I didn't even know you guys were gathering from fish. That's cool. I guess there's some gold all the way over there. Oh, you are at 5 HP. Okay, let's start getting you all trebbed up. Get Elite Obuk. No, god damn it. Oh, I never got, uh, BBT. Bombard tower time. I was like, why did my uh, my own Obuks have lower armor? Oh yeah, that's because they were fighting other Obuks. I get it. All right, go over here. Good luck. Okay, maybe that was a little ambitious. I will admit it. But now it's BBT time, baby. Um, well, we're trying. Um, okay, maybe we have to back up a little bit. Now we're, like, out of gold completely. What about you guys? I guess you're still going over. There's purple joining the fun. Okay, Bombard Tower. I want to build my farms. Oh my god, I already lost that castle. Ha ha! Yeah, I will admit things could be going a bit better right now. We have two TCs left, that's not great. Oh, there's gold over there. Holy bananas. Okay, I got Lechitic Legacy. If there's any Civ that can spam Hussars to victory, it's like poles and, you know, Berbers and... <laughs> Magyars with Magyar Hussars. The Poles are one of those sips, man.
Oh, losing these stables is not really what I wanted in life. There we go. More Magyar Hussar, or not, more Winged Hussar spam. <laughs> They're totally different. Okay. Again, just focus on rebooting. Video making process now. The intermission where I have to go lift a corgi onto my bed so he sits there for like five minutes before wanting down again. And that's being generous. You know what? Go take the boar. Oh, yeah, I can ask them for resources. You have stone? Uh, that one? All right, we're hanging in there. All right, now I can switch back over into Cavalier. Get some more Obooks. Okay, they're giving us a little bit of stone. Let's get at least one more castle. <laughs> we'll build it right where the first one was. They'll never be able to tell the difference. I love full work farming, man. It makes me so happy. Okay, well, we only have another 12 minutes. We're holding all right. There's more gold over there. Other than the stuff that our allies are taking. Even some stone right there. I guess we can try and go take it. There's not honestly all that much time left, though. Hey, stop being a jerk, jerk. I guess we'll get guilds. Uh, I still don't have enough villagers, to be honest. What is preventing me from placing a farm there, man? Uh, let's get you. Oh, you're already under super huge threat. Wow, that castle didn't last very long. Unfortunate. Still, we're doing all right. It's another nine minutes to 
Satterson attack. Honestly, this map seems a little huge considering, like, how close everything is. Like, you know, most of the fighting is over here, and yet we have this huge swath of the map that's very pretty, but not seemingly super critical to the gameplay. Oh, we're all about going to the Fiesta, man. These pole villagers, they know how to party. I forget, do poles get two man saw? I want to say they don't. Or treadmill crane. They don't get two man saw. I know that one. I, I, was, I was talking about treadmill crane, though, which they do get. That's nice. Okay, well, we can at least get you. Oh, hey, it's the Archbishop. Uh, I guess we could have invested into Bombard Cannon sooner. Go take that gold or something. Anything over here? Doesn't seem like it. I mean, like, most of the map is explored for us. There's just these military camps that they're launching the attacks from. Oh. Clearly, they don't know who they're dealing with when it comes to Bombard Tower defense. Ah, uh, two false chasing scouting units. And now the Corgi's barking, or scratching. And the classic orgy move of just standing in the doorway. Okay, that's what I wanted you for. Let's repair you. Actually, mind you, out of stone. Alrighty. Poles are fun, man. On open maps, they're they're kind of rough, though. Not gonna lie. I mean, like, I don't know. They're not terrible. It's just the uh, getting the full work eco going safely is really difficult. Oh, wait, there's more stone. Actually, max pop now. But we only have a couple minutes left to survive. Yeah, it seems way easier to just defend the timer than to defeat the enemies. Although, I did almost lose everything, so... Maybe if you don't lose... <laughs> almost lose everything, it uh, becomes a lot easier to uh, destroy all these castles. What a wild idea. That's a great food cell price. Stone pie price isn't bad either. I guess we'll queue up the Bombard Cannon. Honestly, it seems like their attacks have really uh, slowed down. We'll send these guys to help out our allies. Something, something, the winged hussar has arrived. And now the corgi is back, and he is now under my desk and chewing on his phone. Yeah, there she is. All hail the new Polish king! Long live King Jadwiga! 
she's actually a queen, but, you know, you know, we live in these fluid gender times. Cheer for the end of the Polish Civil War. Hip, hip, hooray! I had been to Krakow once since I left the city of Buda, not uh, for worrying about the young Hungarian queen in the castle in the foreign land, uh, just for my own selfishness, selfishness to memorize the king, the lands he struggled for and finally deserved. I used to think the Hungarians were disliked by the Poles here, but it was wrong. Maybe that was the political need, or perhaps I was just a commoner as one of the citizens. The, uh, the outside of the Vavil Castle Gate was an unexpected calm. No chaos, no quarrel, no one was ruled out. Maybe my worries were sur sur superfluous, worthless, or nothing to be mentioned. No one will concern those who do not belong here, even a foreign peasant who can only be the servant of knights. How nice. How nice. <laughs> So, I mean, it's definitely a cool scenario. A nice little tribute to Yadviga 1. And 101 research percent. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What you doing, Hungarians? <laughs> so, yeah, here are their bases that you could take out. They seem very straightforward. You know, they just are post-imp and make a bunch of units and attack you and your allies. But yeah, it's like, it feels like how large the map is. Oh, more stone there. It almost doesn't, uh... It, it's like it almost doesn't matter. Because the scenario is so concentrated in this whole area. It's not like you're losing these huge swaths and having to, you know, defend for a super long time. I hate to say it, though, because the map looks great. <laughs> I don't know. I'm always a fan of Elam's maps. It does a nice job of them. Anyway, the, anyway, that was the matter of the crown, the not, the, the not official one, and last will be the last of Anjou. Last member of the Capetian House of Anjou. Uh, the elder sister of Jadwiga. Um, so we have to go back to Hungary. All right, guys. The grand finale of Nagi Lajos. It's been a 10-scenario campaign, so we'll have to see that one next time.